In this video, we will be focusing on the following three topics, for utter, teat placement and teats, and utter balance and texture. Each one has a different job to help the udder in creating high quality milk for the producer. Points are assigned by importance of trait. When comparing four cows, the judger would compare four udder attachment first, then comparing teat placement. Depending on the quality of each characteristic, the cow will increase or decrease in value and productivity. According to the PDCA scorecard, each characteristic that you see mentioned has a different point value. When it comes to fore udder attachment, the judger is viewing the front section of the udder. The ideal fore udder should fade smoothly into the abdomen, having ample room for milk capacity with visible mammary veins running throughout the attachment. If the fore udder has more of a basketball shape, this would be considered poor udder attachment. Cow B is displaying a fore udder with poor, undesirable attachment. Cow A fades well into the abdomen, indicating strong attachment. It also has visible mammary veins, which allows for optimum blood flow to the udder. Cow A is more desirable. The udder of a cow has four quarters. In each quarter, there is one teat. Teat placement and size of teats are important factors to consider for milking the cow. If the teats are not centered in their quarter when attaching the milking machine, a producer may have a harder time with connection. Inadequate milking machine connection can affect a cow's health and milk quality. If the teats are too small or too large, the milking machine may not connect to the udder properly. Teats should be about one and a half to two inches long. The photo in the bottom right corner, cow B, shows teats that are not centered and shorter than the desirable length. On the top left corner, cow A, displays each teat is centered in the correct quarter and the length of each teat is of adequate length for milking. Udder balance and texture is mainly about the udder floor. When the judger is looking at the side profile of a cow and looks at the bottom of the udder where the teats are located, a good udder will be level where all teats are hanging at the same depth. The judger does not want to see a quarter of the udder higher up or drooping lower than the other three. Cow A displays level teats and a level udder floor. Compared to cow B, that displays the front two quarters of the udder hanging lower than the back two quarters. This would be considered undesirable. A judger should put cow A over cow B. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our other livestock judging videos as well as the Alabama Cooperative Extension YouTube channel.